Uh, this album's it's a lot different to the, the last few that we've done. I mean, in the respect that we try to make this one a lot more catchy and look at it more from the live point of view and stuff like that. Whereas on the last few albums, we kind of... We just did it and tried to work out how we were going to go about it live afterwards. Like the, the approach I took with the vocals was a hell of a lot different to anything else the band's ever done. In the way that uh, pretty much a lot of it, there's... I mean, there's probably half as many lyrics as what there used to be. Um, there's a lot more breaks where the just basically let the music <laughs> rather than always have me fucking screaming and yelling over the whole thing. So it gives a lot more dynamic edge, a lot more groove in this album. I suppose we let the uh, songs breathe a bit more. Um, we didn't try to fit like a million different riffs into every song. We stayed on riffs for a little bit longer and let them, I suppose, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, uh, mature and ferment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, like I reckon we sort of tried to make it, you know, we tried to look at it more from like a listener's point of view. Rather than like the last couple of albums, we've just sort of done it like from the band, you know. You know, we've just been trying to play everything as technical as we possibly could, but this time we just sort of tried to make it, you know, trying to listen to it how a listener would, you know, listen to it. And I think that's how we kind of ended up with like the simplistic kind of, you know, view of the songs, you know. Dave, you do this one. You seem to know what was going on. We wanted to do the film clip for Initiate because. It's probably uh, combined. It's all you know, pretty much our favourite song on the album. Uh, it's probably the most diverse track on the album as well. So um, visually, I suppose we wanted to uh, just explore some of the themes brought across in the lyrics. And so that's why we're at this abandoned mental asylum here in Tasmania. It's a pretty spooky place. Go to the, yeah, well, I reckon initiate the actual song probably um, says psychroptic more than any of the other songs on the album because so, you know, so diverse and like you know it's got all the technical aspects and all the groove to it. So, kind of it was a good one to choose for the, you know, for the film clip. So, nice. That's why we did. We like the whole uh, intro outro aspect of the song as well. Be yeah, thought it'd be uh, good to do something with that with the film clip. Well, we've got pretty extensive tours booked for this album so far. We've got a 24-date tour of Australia and New Zealand, which is going to be really fun. We're going to be covering a lot of regional areas and stuff like that that we haven't been, so it's going to be really cool. And still doing doing all the capital cities that we usually do, but we wanted to pretty much try and get some new fans and stuff like that, so we've picked... Yeah, a lot of remote locations, and that's going to be really good. And after that, in January next year, we've got a tour coming up in Europe with Cephalic Carnage and Black Dahlia Murder, which we're really looking forward to. There's 30 dates on that tour. It's going to be a lot of fun touring with Black Dahlia Murder, who we've been out on the road with a couple of times so far. 